Okay, now we're going to do a few optimization problems. Remember, optimization, uh, think about curve sketching, finding mins and maxes. So this requires uh, setting the derivative equal to zero, but just like in related rates problems, you need to show some, you need to state what you know, you need to di draw a diagram, uh, the for uh, recognize or identify the formula, and then solve. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a rancher wants to construct two identical rectangular corrals using 400 feet of fencing. Okay, so uh, the rancher decides to build them adjacent to each other because if they're adjacent to each other, then they share one side, which means that requires less fencing than if they're apart from each other. So they share fencing on one side. What dimension should the rancher use? So let's draw a diagram of the two corrals. And then I went ahead and labeled, and because of course, algebra and beyond, we use a lot of X's and Y's. So each width of the rectangle I labeled, of each rectangle I labeled X, and then the, the taller or longer side, the length, I labeled Y. Uh, and so, but what do we else do we know? Well, we know that if you add up all of those measurements right there, he only used 400 feet. So there's 400 feet of fencing. So how many X's are there? One, two, three, four, three Y's. So the perimeter is 400 is equal to 4X plus 3Y. Whoops. So the trick will be, remember, when you're doing optimization, um, we don't need to do implicit differentiation. So when we find the derivative of a function, we need one variable. So I'm going to get this y by itself. You guys know the algebra. We're going to subtract 4x both sides. And then that leaves divide 3 by everything. So that's what we have. And then once we have it set up, then on your paper, you'd say, well, what do we know? We know there's 400 uh, feet of fencing, and you're going to be doing two rectangular uh, it's rectangular fence. You draw the diagram. I drew it a little bit differently on the bigger one. And then there's a couple formulas. Not only do we have this perimeter, but we also know then that the area of this entire space is going to be 2x times y. And then, okay, so let me get this out, out of the way. So since area is 2x times y, remember when we find the derivative, when we differentiate, we only want there to be one variable. So we have to substitute this in for the y, which is what I did right here. And then you go ahead and multiply that out. And I turned it into two different fractions because we're going to take the derivative of this and then set that equal to zero. So we're going to take the derivative of this now. Whoops. And now we're going to set uh, a prime is we're going to set this uh, the derivative equal to zero. And when we do that, we're going to factor things out. Well, I checked to see if 800 thirds is divisible by 16 thirds, and it is. This times 50 is 800 thirds. So then we know what our x is equal to. So if this is 50, that means this is 50, this is 50, this is 50. So that's 100, that's 200. Well, 400 subtract 200 is equal to 200. Well, now there's three y's that are left. So x is equal to 50, y is equal to 200 to 200 thirds. Okay, that's it. For, okay, and then the dimensions would then be 50 feet by 200 thirds feet. And if you rounded that because we're dealing with dimensions. If you if you turn that to a decimal, um, that's fine. That would be that would be acceptable.